Retail to go is already a go across the state, and a lot of beauty professionals are left asking, what about us? KXAN's Avery Travis talked to some stylists who say, with the proper precautions, it's time to get back to work. Not really sure where the next round of groceries is going to come from. For single mom and stylist Sarah Johnson, it's more than a haircut. I have no income at this point. She thinks if retail stores get the green light, cosmetologists should too. It's a little bit confusing, especially because we have such high standards for sanitation that we're already in place. With proper precautions like masks and gloves, she thinks safe appointments can begin one client at a time. We first told you about her petition to the governor last week. Now it has more than 1,500 signatures. We're going to comply and do everything that you want us to do except to close. Johnson says she's not surprised about this Dallas salon owner opening up in defiance of state and county mandates, but she doesn't agree. We want to make sure that we're following what they're saying. She's also heard about stylists breaking the rules with house calls. If everyone can just hang on until it, it can be a little safer working environment. That's kind of what our business model was based on, and we're excited to, to get back to work. Austin startup Spa Dash had to stop their at-home appointments for now, but they expect a lot of people to feel more comfortable one-on-one -on -one with a stylist in their house, even after the stay at home is lifted. You know, you don't have to necessarily leave your home to still be able to get a really great personalized um, experience. We will be ready that day. Johnson just wants to know when that day will be so she can get clients on the books. Part of the peace of mind knowing like we've got some security once we do go back to work. Avery Travis, KXAN News.